Well, good morning, guys. Hope you're all doing well. So as you're watching this, I'm going to be away in Italy running a workshop. So I thought I'd put this out for you because I think it's really, really important. It's about tripod maintenance and more specifically um, carbon fibre tripods because there's no information out there really on how to clean and maintain your carbon fibre tripods. I've looked all over the internet about advice about how to clean tripods and there's very little some of the manufacturers might tell you to use um, water to clean them and just wipe it down with water others will tell you just to do it in the bath um, but there's there's very limited information out there so I thought I'd share with you what I've learned how to maintain and look after your tripods so first things first when I'm cleaning my tripods down what I would usually do is extend all the legs out open the tripod right out and I start with one group of legs at a time so I'll open one up so I know this way I know exactly which one I've done so I'll start with this and then I'll take off each leg section so I'll take off the top one for example unscrew it and take the entire leg, se leg section out then what you really want to be careful of is the actual plastic shims inside now these obviously support the leg inside the tubes and you don't want these to get damaged and what tends to happen are these these things here are really quite brittle but they also when you take these leg sections apart these plastic shims here actually wear down and get a lot of dirt and grime and everything on them so I'll take each leg section out each one individually and I wipe it over with a cloth making sure that I get all of the the um, contaminated parts off and get it as clean as possible now I do this for each section then I put it all back together before I clean the actual legs themselves and the reason I do that is because I don't want any damage to happen to these shims because they're so delicate I want to minimize the amount of um, contact to come into with these as possible so I clean them and then pop it all back together before I actually clean the rest of the leg sections themselves. Now, when you remove each leg section, what you'll see is a group of threads. Each time you remove one of these sections, there's gonna be threads. Now there's a little rubber, on a lot of them, there's a little rubber gasket that actually seals each leg section and stops dust and water getting up inside it. But actually what you need to focus your attention on is the threads themselves because that's where you get a lot of grit and dirt getting into those threads and you don't want damage to occur. So I always make sure that I get a cloth and really wipe these threads thoroughly to get all, rid of all of the contaminated grit and, and dirt out of those threads. That's the part that I, I tend to notice picks up the most dirt and that's the part that's going to wear down the fastest as well. Now once you've cleaned these threads thoroughly and you're sure you've got all of the dirt and grease and everything out of those then what I do is, is I'll put it back together but what you've really got to pay attention to again is these plastic shims because it usually will only go in one way and you've just got to turn the leg until you feel it go inside there slide it in and then make sure that you don't cross thread these threads when you pop the threads back on get it back on there get it all back together and then nothing can happen to those plastic shims then we can move on to actually cleaning the legs themselves so once you've actually removed each leg section individually you've taken them all apart you've cleaned all those plastic shims you've cleaned all the threads you've popped it all back together then I'll actually clean the carbon fiber itself now as I said at the start of this video, there's very limited information out there as to what to use on your tripod. So I did a bit of a research and what I found out is a lot of bike companies use cleaning products for carbon fiber framed bikes. So I contact, contacted one of those people to ask whether it could be used on any kind of carbon fiber. And they, because it's a mild cleaning solution, they said yes, they recommend it for any kind of carbon fiber. So that was the only way I could find a, a proper carbon fibre cleaner for um, tripods. So what the one I'm using is actually called Muckoff. Now there's different companies obviously, but what you really want to look for is a cleaner that specialises in carbon fibre. 
and more specifically that it's a mild cleaner. So the process is this for me. I, I take a piece of this cleaner, I squirt it onto the cloth so that I'm not squirting it straight onto the carbon fiber directly, it's on the cloth. Then I just wipe it over the carbon like this, each leg section all the way down, removing all the dirt. And that doesn't leave any residue on the carbon so it's not gonna cause any problems with grip or anything like that. And I just wipe each leg section down all the way around. And you can use this on the actual rubbers as well. It's not gonna affect it. It's such a mild detergent that it won't actually affect anything. So you can use it on the rubbers to wipe those down as well. And just work your way around the tripod doing each leg section individually. Now obviously if you've been to the coast and everything you're going to get bits of uh, salt and everything around the base and everything and it'll take all that off. You've just got to wipe it over like so and make sure you get it all off. Now the reason I do it with like this and putting it directly on the cloth is because I don't want this detergent to sit on the carbon fibre too long. So I think fine by putting it on the cloth itself and then wiping it over, it's cleaning the carbon while taking any residue straight back off again. Now as you can see it's really effective stuff and this was last week. I cleaned it for the first time. You can see how much dirt has actually come off the tripod and that was just from a couple of days out where I hadn't cleaned it at all and you can see how much dirt and grime has actually come off because you've got to think that it's not only spreading from your hands but also the environment that you're in, seawater, salt spray, rivers, all of that can kind of add to the dirt and grime that builds up on your tripod. So keeping them clean is really, really important. Now, obviously as landscape photographers, we spend a lot of money on these tripods. So we want to look after them as best we can and get the most we can out of them. So my recommendation is to do this process monthly, or if you're at the coast, actually do it as soon as you get home and clean all the salt and everything straight off your tripods to keep your tripods working the best you possibly can and they'll last you for many years to come. Well guys, I hope this has helped you out and helped you uh, help show you how to look after your carbon fibre tripods to get the most out of them and keep them going as long as possible. Thanks very much for watching, like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video soon. Take care, bye bye.